Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be comparing the performance and input delay of FSR version 3.1.2 and LSFG version 2.3 in Red Dead Dumption part 1 running on my ROG LA that has Windows 11. In order to enable FSR frame generation, I'll be using the free mod DLSS enabler. This is its version 3.02.000.0. LSFG is a universal frame generator that works on any GPU. It's included with a paid application called Lossless Scaling that sells on Steam Store for around 7 US dollars. Using DLSS enabler, I'll also enable AMD's anti lag 2 technique. This technique helps in reducing the latency. We can use it even without FSR frame generation. It can also be used with LSFG. This build of DLSS enabler comes with FSR version 3.1. I'll show you the process of updating FSR. First, just download DLSS enabler. Scroll down. Expand asset section. Click on the EXE link. You just need to download the latest AMD Fidelity FX SDK version 1.1.2 on this website. I'll give its link in the description. These are the changes that come with FSR version 3.1.2. Includes a number of fixes for issues discovered with FSR 3.1, 3.1.1. Fix for bad depth format conversion in Vulkan backend. Addition of velocity factor to help eliminate bright pixel flickering in motion, FSR 3. Fix for a memory leak in DirectX 12 backend when performing PSO creation. Scroll down to the end, expand asset section. Click on the zip link. Now I'll show you the games directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. I own the Steam version of the game. Select the game in your library. Right click, manage, browse local files. This is the directory. Copy the directory from here. There's the game's exe file. Now just run DLSS enabler setup file. There it is in the downloads directory. I accept next, next, paste the game directory here. Next. Select this option, install as a dbghelp.dll file. Check this option as well, enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Ally comes with a Radeon based GPU, Radeon 780M. Next, install. Uncheck this option, finish. Now just open the games install directory where you install the mod. Here look for nvngx.ina file. There it is, open it. Set generated to FSR 31. It's basically FSR 3.1. Reflex on, reflex emulation auto, file, save. I'll show you the version of FSR. Right click on this file, AMD Fidelity FX DX12. This is the old version 1.0.036604. Let's update FSR now. Just go to downloads directory and open Fidelity FX SDK zip file. There it is. Open bin folder and just copy this file amd underscore Fidelity FX underscore DX12 dot DLL. Paste it in the games directory. Overwrite the existing file. Now check the version. It has been updated. Version 1.0.1.38338. This is for FSR 3.1.2. For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to 4 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 441. I have installed AMD's latest GPU driver, Adrenaline version 24.10.1. In order to use anti lag 2, you just need to have AMD GPU driver, Adrenaline version 24.7.1, or anything newer than that. Using a 25 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 25 watts. CPU boost disabled, set resolution to 900p. Connected my Gullicate KK3 Max gamepad to Alive app Bluetooth mode. In order to see the real time latency while the game is running, I will be using Anti Lag 2 Latency Monitor. Hotkey for enabling it is Alt Shift and L. I will also show you lossless scaling settings. Not using any of lossless scaling subscaling algorithms. LSFG version 2.3 X2 mode, it will try to double the FPS. Not using LSFG's performance mode. Clip cursor setting enabled. Sync mode default, maximum latency set to 1, true FPS setting enable, capture API TXGI, that's it. Settings, start as administrator setting enable, hotkey for enabling LSFG, control alt and S. Minimize the application, launch the game. It's adrenaline settings, free sync and vsync enabled, that's it. You need to sign into your Rockstar Launcher account even for the Steam version of the game. 
using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics in game settings display mode full screen it's actually borderless full screen mode resolution full hd i change ls display resolution to full hd as well refresh rate 120 hertz frame rate cap 144 fps vsync and triple buffering disable very important otherwise you won't be able to access fsr frame generation setting using the high preset reflex low latency setting enabled dlss enabler mod will replace reflex with anti lag 2 upscaling my head set to dlss this means the mod is working i'll just disable frame generation for the time being first test the game without it using the upscaler's quality preset motion blur disabled that's it now i'll show you optiscaler setting press its hotkey insert key there you go from the upscaler drop down bar i'll select fsr 3.x basically fsr 3.1 upscaler chain fsr 3.1.2 there you go save and i close i'll just enable anti lag to latency monitor press its hotkey combination alt shift nl keep pressing the combination to cycle through the different display options there you go latency value 20 milliseconds there's john here fps is close to 60 we are not hitting the gpu bottleneck not impressed by the game's performance on windows platform gpu load is around 70 percent only so the game's performance seems to be limited by the single core cpu performance not observing any texture shimmering issue around the wires this is FSR 3.1.2 upscaler just observing the fine textures in the background the fence latency is around 32 to 35 milliseconds ok I am observing some texture shimmering there in that house see so FS upscaler still has this problem and get closer texture shimmering stop and these windows were exhibiting it move away from these windows again observe the windows from a distance see shimmering is going on not very aggressive though here as well ok I'll just enable FSR frame generation now without it latency value mostly stays around 35 milliseconds on this should increase the latency let's see back to the game latency value increased from around 35 milliseconds to around 43 milliseconds roughly a 7 to 8 milliseconds increase in latency input delay is not a problem FPS is frame generation is close to 100 but I am observing some graphical artifacts around Marston's character model Garvel texture C this issue may be limited to Red Dead Redemption 1 only looking for some other graphical artifacts texture shimmering is still present ok these carbon textures are also appearing around the other character models NPCs latency is not a problem with FSR frame generation but these carbon textures are even the horse is exhibiting these carbon textures yeah something is not right almost hitting the GP bottleneck 80 to 100 FPS with FSR frame generation now I'll test LSHG disable FSR frame generation first game center and settings disable vsync enable radiant chill setting apply a 60 FPS cap don't use afterburner overlay with LSHG in this game I'll just enable windows toolbar and there it is pin it 
okay almost hitting the gp bottleneck pace fps drop down to around 42 fps with frame generation around 85 lshg is overlays getting blocked by anti lag tools overlay but you can still see the fps value partially 85 fps can observe the added amount of smoothness big performance impact for lsfg okay i'm observing some artifacts around Marston's head his head is flickering there's a strip of garble textures on the bottom edge of the display difficult to observe this on ls small display latency value is within a range of 60 to 70 milliseconds it's a clear win for fsr 3.1.2 frame generation in this game but it also exhibited some graphical artifacts around the character model if you really want to use a frame generation technique in this game on raw gala i would recommend using afmf2 already tested it didn't produce any graphical artifacts like you're seeing here i'll also test the performance mode of lsfg it may help in increasing the base fps which stays within a range of 40 to 45 performance mode on back to the game base fps increased to around 50 all thanks to the performance mode graphical artifacts are still present yeah latency dropped to around 50 milliseconds see all thanks to the increase in base fps we are almost hitting the gp bottleneck so if you want to use lsfg in this game on ally i would recommend using its performance mode observe some garble textures around the horse while sprinting oh my god <laughs> still fsr 3.1.2 2 frame generation was better fps mostly stayed above 100 while sprinting fps often drops down to 90 that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day